Well, hello everyone, and welcome to, and I hope you can hear me, uh, the first Humble Fungus employee training video, which I will also put up on YouTube. I uh, don't expect this to be lots of fun content. Uh, basically, Stephen and I are sitting here working and we realize that we do this so many times and we have to explain it so many times in a given day that we should probably make training videos. <laughs> so, this is the first. We're going to start at the basic, aseptic technique, right? So I've got a workstation here. I've got a flow hood. I'm me. I've been wandering around. I've got shit in my beard. I haven't washed my hands. I haven't washed my face. All that good stuff. Correction, I have already because I don't want to carry the camera around and go and wash my hands and face again. But you get the idea. So aseptic technique. I'm in front of a flow hood. The flow hood, everything from here to about here is sterile, big square, right? This does not make you Iron Man. You are not invulnerable to everything when you are sitting in front of a flow hood, okay? So if I walk up to this flow hood, let's assume everything here is sterile. And I walk up to this flow hood, I haven't washed my hands, I haven't washed my face, I haven't like cleaned off my clothes, I haven't done anything, right? So the first thing I do is I come over here barehanded. And I'm like, woohoo, I'm just gonna miss some ISO over here and be like, woo, man, I'm clean. Now I'm gonna get to work. Guess what? I just brought the entire shop over to this flow hood. Now the flow hood isn't magic. Right? It's not fucking Harry Potter, okay? It's not gonna like mag magically make you clean. It's got some attributes that really help you, obviously. It's got that nice, big, chunky flow of air. It's pushing all the crap on your shirt and everything away. So let's start at the beginning. Aseptic technique. The first thing you're gonna do before you come up to this hood is you're going to wash your hands. You're gonna wash your face. You're gonna pull back your hair. You're gonna wipe your clothes off or put on a lab coat or an apron or something else like that. Right? I don't need your shit in my shit. Second, you're gonna find a mask. Why? I don't really care if you think that the flow hood makes you Iron Man. But as we have learned sort of the hard way here in the shop, we all spit when we talk. This is why COVID is such a thing. Like water droplets fly out, you get people sick. Guess what? It happens from a flow hood, especially if you're talking. Don't do that. Now, admittedly, the spit should go like this. Come on, water's heavier than air. So, I'm gonna mask up. So, I've washed my hands, I've washed my face, i put on a mask, gloves. Now, you're probably saying, Jesse, single-use plastic, and I hear you on that. Single-use plastic sucks. And you're saying, well, maybe if I sterilize my hands enough, um, I can work in front of the flow hood safely. Let me show you my right hand. I'm right hand dominant. And so I use this for everything. I'm making soil, I'm making grains, I'm doing everything day in and day out. Look at my nails. Look at my nails and cuticles and my skin, right? There's stuff in here that's not gonna come out for another month, probably. It's like dirt, it's sand, it's got awful stuff. It doesn't matter how much ISO and soap I use on this, right? There's gonna be cracks and crevices and stuff lying around. So that's why you're gonna put on some gloves. And if you think your shit doesn't stink and you don't have anything in your fingernails, grab a clean auger plate and a swab. Take the swab, roll it around the inside of your cuticle, then rub that swab on the auger plate. I guarantee you, in about a week, something's going to grow. Grow a lot of mushrooms, it may be a mushroom. All right, got my gloves. Now, because I was like rolling these around in my hands, I'm going to rub ISO. Woohoo! I just sprayed ISO all over everything. It's soaking wet. But I'm clean, right? No. Until this ISO dries, you're not sterile. So take your ISO soaked hands and hold them in front of the fluid, like thus. As you can see, it takes no time at all for this isopropyl to dry. All right. 
I've walked up to a workstation. It's seven o'clock in the morning. It looks clean to me, right? Wrong. The first, the second, <laughs> after you've cleaned yourself, covered yourself up, everything's sterile. The first thing you're gonna do is wipe the damn workstation down. Because if it's been sitting for longer than a couple of minutes, it's probably got shit on it. ISO. Now, this part, pay attention to. With a laminar flow hood, the flow of air is going like this or this. In our case, the flow of air is going like this. Watch how I clean, watch me name it. This is clean, right? Woohoo! Look at me. Wrong. Guess why? The flow of air is going this way. If I'm going like this, woo! I'm just pushing shit all over the place and it's gonna get up in the flow hood, it's gonna get in the air circulation, etc. You always clean from the flow hood backward. So let me demonstrate. Station is clean. I'm clean. I'm going to take the impulse sealer down because the next training video is on breaking and shaking grain and proper bag seals. But, okay, I've cleaned myself, I cleaned my workstation. What about the things that I'm touching? I got to clean those too. All right, now the final thing I'm about to seal a bag of grain. Right, just pull this out of the pot. I've sterilized me, sterilized the workstation, I've sterilized the tool that I'm about to use. Now, I could take this, pull it apart and break the shape. Here's the problem. It's been cooling overnight. It's been collecting water and moisture and condensation on the outside. So even though it's been sitting in front of a flow hood, all that does is ensure that the air that it sucks in is sterile. It doesn't prevent, you know, some rogue amoeba flight flying in on that moisture and then landing on the outside of the bag. Guess what? I'm gonna take this ISO rag. Missed it a little bit. I'm gonna take it, and before I do anything with this bag, I wipe it down. Now it's sterile. This is sterile, I'm sterile, and now I can work. Anytime you move out of this barrier, let's say I do this. Let's say I bend down and I grab something. What's just happened? I violated the sterility boundary of my gloves and I violated the sterility boundary of the workstation. What do I now have to do? Well, after I'm done emptying this pot in the next video, I've got to re-sterilize everything. So that's your 101 crash course on aseptic technique in front of a flow hood. Don't take any chances, be careful. And remember, just because you're in front of a flow hood does not make you Iron Man. If you try to fly, well, it's gonna end poorly.